The first ever feathered dinosaur tail has been found after being preserved in amber for 99 million years. We are going to tell you all about it right now on Inform Overload. Yo, 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 friends, welcome back to the channel. My name is Charlotte. I hope you guys had a great weekend. So, you know how birds evolve from dinosaurs? Well, paleontologists have come across an amazing find that will help them understand how dinosaurs evolved. In case you didn't know, amber is fossilized tree resin, and you can actually make jewelry out of it. The amber sample with the fossilized tail is nicknamed Ava. And it was discovered in northern Myanmar, also known as Burma. It's in Southeast Asia and it borders Bangladesh, India, and China. Amber from this area contains some of the world's biggest variety of animal and plant life from the Cretaceous period. Previously, individual dino feathers had been found in amber and feather impressions have been fossilized, but this is the first time that scientists have found well preserved feathers attached to an actual dinosaur. The amber sample includes bones, soft tissue, and actual feathers. It actually lets us see in full detail the different between feathers of birds and feathers of dinosaurs. This research was led by paleontologist Lida Zing of the China University of Geosciences, and it was published in the journal Current Biology. All right, here are some facts about this discovery. The amber sample is from the mid Cretaceous period, and it's about as big as a dried apricot, so like that big. The amber is semi translucent, so you can see through it. The feathers itself are chestnut brown with a lighter, maybe even white underside. CT scans show that the sample has eight vertebrae, and it actually may have been part of a thin tail made up of 25 vertebrae. So, I bet you're wondering if this dinosaur had feathers, does that mean it could fly? Well, I mean, just because something has feathers, that doesn't mean it can fly. But even so, this tail did not belong to a flying dinosaur. It appears that the feathers are mostly just ornamental because the way they are arranged on the tail does not suggest they are used for flight. The feathers are relatively flexible and open on this tail, whereas if they were feathers for flight, they would have well defined central shafts, branches, sub branches, and hooks so that the feathers could move as a single unit, kind of like a plane wing. Something else that's really exciting, the study revealed the presence of ferrous iron, which is actually a decomposition product of the blood hemoglobin that was once a part of the dinosaur's soft tissue. But the mines in the Hukawing Valley are owned by the Kachin Independence Army, so getting permission to go there to recover these fossils is difficult, even for scientists. It is the hope that once the conflict between the Myanmar government and the Kachin Army ends, which is supposed to be soon, more scientific access will be granted and hopefully more amazing discoveries like this one will be found. Alrighty, that is all for the news portion of this video, I'll now respond to some comments from previous videos. A cold summer production said, what is your spirit animal? I would say lion. Yeah. CVCD Gamer said, hey IO, do you have your own studio for your videos? We do. If you guys are interested in seeing what our studio looks like, there's a video tour on our other channel, IO2. Last comment comes from Ivy Radio. What would you say to an alien if you ever encountered them? I would say, have you watched IO? I like this a lot. Can you imagine if all the fake alien sightings were actually aliens pranking us? I bet they're watching IO like I can't believe these earthlings think we look like that rock. Dude, you do look like that rock. I have that statue made to look like you. Okay guys, I hope you found that video informative. I will see you all in the next one.